Well, the CEO of General Motors making a rare appearance. Mary Barra was at last night's contract negotiations with the UAW. Uh, this is the first time she stepped into contract talks. She and GM's top negotiators worked late into the night. Now they're hoping to come up with a new four year contract for almost 50,000 GM workers. The strike is now in its 26th day. The union told GM they need more time with their committees before they'll respond to any offers. Fox 47's Maureen Halliday is live in Lansing now with more on what went down at that meeting. Maureen. Well, it looks like negotiations are at a complete standstill until union committees can finish their work on open issues. In a letter sent from the union's U, uh, VP, he writes that the union is focused. I know what's going on. I just told you I don't like think you heard it. I understand the helicopter. They close that investments for other factories and trading for union workers. The letter was in response to GM's offer earlier this week. The union's VP says he does not know how long that's going to take. GM's Barra is pushing for the union to wrap up their work quickly so they can finally come to a resolution. And according to an analyst, this strike is costing GM $82 million a day. They've already had to close a couple of factories in Mexico and Canada. For Fox 47 News, I'm Maureen Halliday. All right, thank you, Maureen. Fox 47 will keep you updated on those negotiations, both on and off the air.